All right, guys, so today I wanted to try out the uh, new changes in Ryu because Ryu got a bunch of new Pokemon. Ryu and PU this time have like so many new Pokemon, so I kind of want to try them out over the next few days. Obviously, playing a little bit of OU in between, but real quick, uh, leave a comment if you played any of the RU or PU or any of the tiers that have, you know, excessive changes right now. And let me know your thoughts on them right now. I'm really excited to try out RU. Haven't been able to really record a show on live in two days, as you guys have seen on the channel. Um, which I'm sorry about, but things were really busy. But uh, I'm very excited about this team. It has a Jetpack uh, Duraldon and Specs Inteleon. And I think that's going to be so fun to use. Shout out to my friend Evigaro for the team. And if you guys want to uh, use the team, go to my website, pokeamd.com. Also, another thing, I started my Road to Top 10 uh, streamed in OU on my Twitch. I do advise you follow my Twitch, uh, or also my Twitter as well, because I'll let you know when I go live. But I do advise you follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash pokeamd. Link is always down below, uh, because that will be a stream series that we hit, because uh, we crushed my subathon goal. It was insane on Friday. And then I started it yesterday, so Sunday. And I did about two and a half hours of that, and then I played through Pokemon Coliseum as well, like a really randomized version, and both just went great. So, I mean, Sub so Episode 1 is up there on uh, Twitch, it's already clipped and everything. I guess whenever I finish that, I'll port it all in like one big video here, because the Road to Top 10 on YouTube is going to be, um, it's going to be done this summer, after the DLC, because it's typically a summer series, and I want to do a summer series, and honestly... I fought Corviknight, Clefable, Seismitoad, like 20 games in a row. So like, <laughs> I would rather see if the metagame changes a little bit first before I do a road top 10. Yeah, let's look for a battle, but I do advise you, uh, you know, check out my website, check out the stuff. If you want to give me a team, go to my website as well. You go to the team section, and let's see how this goes. So, again, we have Reject Button, Duraludon, and Specs Inteleon. Specs Inteleon looks very good in this game. Um... But, like, every single time I load up RU and I don't run Hazard Control, I get bopped by that. So, I think I'm going to go Defog on this uh, Rotom. Um, because I'm, I'm pretty annoyed by the... Uh... Actually, uh, let's, let's, let's give my opponent a decision. If I, if I go Inteleon as a lead and, I go, uh, and they have Galvantula, they might be more tempted to click an Electric move uh, than anything else. Uh, and if they click sticky webs, then I get to, you know, click buttons on my Inteleon. Um, my Duraludon can probably set up in the face of this. I was about to call you Malamar. Malamar is standing right next to you. A Jack Button. A Jack Button Duraludon, pretty cool. Because I can Thunderbolt and Draco and get the hell on out of there. And I can Flash. I think that's going to be so fun. Oh my god. And I can, like, Draco on Malamar and get into, like, Passimian and U-Turn and get my attack boost. So, we're going to go Inteleon because, again, it, it gives my opponent a decision. Um... Do you uh, pick up the KO on me, or do you get Sticky Web up? And uh, plus, I can go for Dark Pulse here to potentially flinch them. And if I do flinch them, then they don't get up the hazards, obviously. Now, uh, of course, them being able to get in Hitmalee, them being able to get in Creamy, Al Creamy is a little bit annoying here, but I still rather Dark Pulse once again, um, as they do go Al Creamy. And because they, I've defined all my Passimian, I know I can Oko this thing in one hit. Uh, I definitely don't want to go out into this either. Um, Vikavolt is necessary because I'll lose to him only. Passimian is going to beat everything on their team. Uh, Rotom, so I don't lose to Raichu. It's actually Inteleon that loses to everything on their team. So I'm just going to Dark Pulse and allow them to knock me out. So I can go Passimian and knock them out after. As they just Mystical Fire there. Um, as their Life Orb. So maybe they're Draining Kiss. Uh, but once again, like I said, um, I want to keep this thing alive for Lee. Uh, I don't want to lose to Raichu, so I want to keep you alive as well. Uh, we're just going to Dark Pulse again, let them potentially recover or drain in case. You can flinch the, the Galvantula. It sucks about my what, what I'm doing right now, but I think that is the correct play. And I feel like I can also just set up a Rain Dance on maybe Malamar with uh, my Dreadnought. Maybe it has to be Cramorant, to be honest. huh? Now that I think about it... Yeah, alright, cool. They, <laughs> the pressure finally went through. My DDoS didn't work. <laughs> now, I'm going to say, now that I think about it, it, it like, Inteleon, Inteleon doesn't outspeed anything, but it might have outsped uh, Malamar. I don't know the, the math on top of my head. It might have outsped Malamar. I'm pretty sure it didn't. But, yeah, I, I want to see what you guys think about the Duraludon and Inteleon, because I, I heard, like, Inteleon is borderline broken versus offense, and I also heard that Duraludon is just extremely good, and I felt like Duraludon was extremely good. Um, like, this guy's water resist is his own Inteleon, while well, I have two water resists. <laughs> But uh, loving my um, Duraludon here, 
Uh, I'm assuming this is like maybe a Scarf Rotom type of build. I haven't seen Rotom in a minute. Looks cool this generation. Vikavolt helps me deal with Rillaboom. And it actually is a great lead because it deals with basically everything on their team. And if they go Scrafty, I can always uh, Volt Switch out into Passimian to knock them out. Uh, Passimian definitely in the late game is going to be very good. Close combat, close combat, close combat, close combat. Uh, Duraludon can drop some Dracos and get the hell out of that, uh, hell out of there into Inteleon, which I think is the coolest part. In fact, I think that's so nice. I'm going to lead off with Duraludon and just click Draco. Yeah, because they go Rotom. This is great. So I drop a Draco immediately on um, anything. Uh, I shouldn't die unless they're specs. I, I probably just brought them to life that they're specs. Yeah, let's go, Duraludon. Not only do I kill them, but I but it's a hit and run. <laughs> it's actually a hit and run. So I get out and tell you, that's amazing. So um, I get rid of their Rotom, which is great for close combat because now they have no immunity. They only have a resistance as they bring out Rillaboom. And uh, they could U-turn. I'm specs. Uh, obviously, I don't want to uh, stay in on this situation, though, but... I'm assuming they do turn here. Rotom is very good because it defogs and actually has super effective hits versus everything besides Rillaboom. Uh, Dreadnought looks pretty expendable, but it can also pseudo sweep if I get it in on Zatu. Actually, no, I'll, I'll side Dreadnought because I want to be able to get in my mana. If they, if they would hammer, they take damage, it's fine. Because now I get to bring out uh, Vikavolt and just Bug Buzz for free. Um, I could also just go for Energy Ball there, expecting Steelix. But wow, that did way too much anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to Bug Buzz again. No point going for Energy Ball. I don't think it's... It might have actually knocked them out, but I don't think it would have. Uh, they, again, they don't have a resist to this, so... Uh, we we'll just click that one more time. And uh, now at this point, my Passimian is looking really good. Uh, we got rid of their Volt Switch immunity. Um, if they go Scrafty, I just Volt Switch right out into my Passimian right there. Depending on what they do with their Scrafty, of course. I still have the Heavy Duty Boots, so I really don't care. Is that a guaranteed kill? That might be a guaranteed kill. Huh. Alright, I'll sack Duraladon. That dude was trying to pump me. Not today, though. We get to bring out Rotom Mo here. And, uh... I'm gonna defog first. Mainly because they should go Rillaboom. Why should I have to play a Rocks if they don't have to? And... Assuming they U-turn here or knock off... Because I'm thinking they're gonna try to Hydro Pump Sweep me too, but the only way I can lose to them is if they're... Uh, Scarf Inteleon, which I believe they're Scarf Rillaboom. Obviously, they outspend me there, so they are Scarf Rillaboom. Yeah, and this gives me my Inteleon. I'm gonna go Inteleon over Persimmon because it's it's harder for them to switch into it. It's I, I do risk missing, but I'm not Greninja, so I'm not gonna die in one hit anyway. And I believe Rillaboom is gonna die. Also, you might die too. Okay, so they're in Torrent. Which means that if they get a speed tie, they win. They knock me out. But I'm going to win this speed tie because I'm, I'm a true... <laughs> hey, luckily, they're, li uh, they're life orb and not spec. So I'm able to knock out and tell you. Great. I was going to say I'm a true agent, but I caught my tongue. Thank God. <laughs> At this point, I'm okay with sacking Rillaboom. Because if they U-turn, I get a torrent boosted specs hydro pump on whatever comes in. And I literally get a kill. So I guess I could also Ice Beam. Zatu as well. That way I can close combat. But I think the uh, the safer thing is just to go Vikable and Volt Switch because that's a guaranteed uh, kill right there. Actually, am I cutting it too close for Woodhammer? Nah, no way. Y'all, yeah, I'm definitely not cutting it too close for Woodhammer either. Alright, so we go Inteleon on here. If they go Scrafty, will I lose to it if it Dragon Dances? No, because Inteleon's still faster than it. So we're just going to Ice Beam. Get rid of Zatu. That wish doesn't matter at all. Uh, they can go Rillaboom and I guess U-turn, which allows me to close combat with Passimian. They would hammer, I bring out Vikavolt and Bug Buzz twice. So like in Teleon did his job, uh, that was like not the play. You don't have Motor Breaker at all. Uh, in Teleon did his job and Duraludon hella did his job because that Rotom was annoying. And we're going to end up winning this game with the, uh, the combination of... Um, a Passimian plus a Vikable. Yeah, I don't want them to be able to... I don't want them to be able to bulk up with their Mon. I guess they could do it if they double right here, but if they don't, it's the same thing. Yeah, I, I really don't. Like, if they switch, so be it. Yeah, so at this point, I just click Close Combat. 
Um, I didn't even see if their Scrafty was Intimidate, but if it is, it just gives me an attack raise anyway, and then I guarantee win the game. So yeah, like I said, uh, at Team Preview, it, it, it basically went almost exactly how I said it would, but Pacimia would be the last Pokemon out on the field. I click Close Combat, get rid of Scrafty, that's a good game. Nice. So both uh, Duraldo did his job early. I didn't get any rocks up in this game, but that's whatever. I was able to Draco. I was able to let, uh, live the... Uh, that's, do I have four Spadef EVs? Nope, that's that. That's that four defense EVs carried over. That's that's that natural 50 base Spadef. Mmm, bulky. But... Uh, <laughs> I didn't start this video with, yo, what's up, guys? All right, 10 minutes. Yo, what's up, guys? You got Poe Game here. We're back on my second battle. This dude has uh, dual screens. And webs. Belly drum. What the hell you do to Inteleon though? So Inteleon early just clicks Specs Hydro Pump on everything. Uh, hydro Pump, Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump. Duraldon, I'm very worried about you. Uh, I have to make sure that whatever I do, you cannot set up. So that's why I want to go Inteleon. If they go, if they go Rillaboom, so be it. They go Savali Dragon. If I Ice Beam here, they in instantly get to set up. <laughs> like instantly. <laughs> that's very annoying. Um, with Slurpuff. I'll make the Pacimian play. If they Draco, so be it. But if they Parting Shot, I get a boost, yeah. And then I get to threaten something. Like, if they go Slurp up, I'll get to... Uh... Hey, go ahead and give me another one. Thank you. So, uh, I get to Close Combat here. I feel... <laughs> like, look at their team. I definitely get to Close Combat here. Or whatever comes in. Now, if they go Slurp up, I'm pretty sure Plus 3 Close Combat puts it out of range of being able to Belly Drum. Uh, we're going to count that, but... I'm willing to sack one of my best Mons in this game in order to not lose. Like, I, it might be harder after, but I'm willing to do that in order to not lose, that's for sure. So I love the Woodhammer here. Yep. We get rid of the Rillaboom. Uh, so that's great because we got rid of their Scarfer. That's good for Inteleon. Uh, assuming they're going to go out into their Slurp up here. And uh, if my math is correct, I will do too much to them so they won't be able to Belly Drum. Uh, please show me 80, 85%. Because if not, then I'll instantly lose. Who the hell are these other Pokemon here? Oh, that's the other team I was doing with. Pissing me off. Hey. Get that. Okay. Uh, Passimian plus three. Slurpuff. Yep. Okay, 85% literally. So, uh, great. So, they'll be able to outspeed me after, but they won't be able to belly drum up. So I, I, Yo, I'm on top of this with my man. Let's go. Um, so now they can play rough or into whatever attack they do. In terms of what's good, Rotom can still beat Inteleon. So I'm definitely going to keep that thing alive. Um, you're very good versus this, Mon. So, and Dreadnought can win as well. But I, I, Okay, I think I'm going to give them Vikable. Yeah, because they won't be able to get anything back as well. So that, that went like perfectly well. Not only did I get rid of their Scarfer, which is great for my Inteleon. Um, like I said, absolutely amazing for my Inteleon. Uh, but I got rid of their slurp off, which like I said could 6 on me So um, a decision I have to make here. I either go Duraludon, which bops everything which I like that because I could Draco and dip I actually really like that Unless they're Draco on their own. No, I really like that Let's do it Because I can Draco the uh, the Colossal and, and get out there into Dreadnought to be able to set out and That's why I like the eject pack I think Specs and Life Orb are going to be really strong too in this tier. Like, look at Life Orb and look at their switchings. They don't switch in. I flash cannon into Draco and kill everything. Um, they also don't know if I'm Scarf, which maybe that's not something that Ryu runs. But I know Monotype runs Scarf, Duraludon a lot. I've been playing a lot of Monotype on Patreon. Shout out to all my Patreoners. Right, let's see. Are they Draco as well? Ah, oh, they were. No. Hmm. So I can do two things here. I could go Rotom and, and, and go right out to Basimian on their on their parting shot and literally win the game. And that sounds very fun if I can get that right. We're gonna get in Dreadnought here. I'm gonna do Dreadnought instead though, because that's more fun. <laughs> Alright, I win. Um <laughs> I win. <laughs> Damn, they really lost every mod in this Pacivian. Yo, you got Ice Shard, bro? Oh, okay, they didn't lose every Mon. But unfortunately, you are, once again, not Greninja. Hmm. 
I'll say, am I, am I cutting it too close? Yo, they're Endure Steam Engine. Oh, that's so cool. But die to hell, so it doesn't matter. That's so cool. And now we go Rotom, because if they go Inteleon and they click Ice Beam, I get to uh, set up with Dreadnought. Are they Life Orb? Nope, they're more likely Specs. Is setting up the Rain Dance a bad play because I can lose with this? I don't think so. Let me Rain Dance here. Because then I Ice Beam Inteleon in order to win. Or I just Hydro Pump and just kill him straight up. Should I just get guaranteed damage? This is guaranteed damage. I'm gonna land. <laughs> oh, this is also perfect too because I can I can go right out into Rotom because uh, I'll die to Life Orb and then just Volt Switch on there and Teleon and win this game. I don't think Specs knocks me out in the rain. I'm I'm think I'm gonna live on like one, and I'm also fairly confident that Rotom will knock him out because I'm max special attack. But you know we got the handy dandy calculator over here, so we don't even have to worry. Volt Switch has 98 min. They had 94. They could also go for Ice Beam Freeze if they want to. These games are closed, but I mean, Inteleon I'm being clean. Ah, good game. Nice. Go on, go on, go on. Duraldon didn't do as much in that game. The first game is still good. Jack Button, Jack Button, into Inteleon seems really busted. But like, I love that. Like, the ideal situation is that Draco is Steelix as it switches in, and I get to go, I, I basically get Eject Packed. I call it Eject Button, but Eject Packed, because it's not the Eject Button. I just pack directly into Inteleon, and I just get to click Hydro Pump. I'm glad we're fighting offense and not, like, Foul Plume and friends. Um, the cool thing about this team is uh, one, two, three, four, five Mons give you momentum. Like, it was, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's nice. You don't like that? What the hell? Once, look what Dan just posted. First round predicted to be... Poketuber dodgeball game. Bro, I will go in. Hold up. I will go in. I was a GOAT at dodgeball. Eh. Actually, no. I wasn't. I was good at catching the ball in middle school, but I wasn't very good at throwing because I didn't have, uh, I didn't wear contacts or my glasses back then. Because, I mean, I couldn't get contacts till high school, which is when my life changed. Freaking jawline grew the hell out. Like, the you know how the Grinch's heart grew? Think about that with my jawline. But, like, um... But then I couldn't really see, so I could catch the ball, but I wasn't very good at throwing it because, like, <laughs> I didn't see what it was. It's funny, like, I could sense its presence. I would even catch it with my legs sometimes. This dude has, like, sun, kind of. I don't know. Uh, very worried about Slurp Buff here. Um, very much love my Duraludon, though, because it's, it's good versus everything. I didn't, I didn't even look at Nine Tails. I said sun, and I didn't even look at Nine Tails. What am I doing here? Hey, hold up. Do you think they're going to solar beam immediately? Because my Hydro Pump about to hurt. Fire Blast me directly into not Torrent range. That's fine. Um, I don't know if that's specs or not, but if I damage them, this Hydro Pump, I probably lose immediately to Slurp Up, huh? This is a very tough game. Ideally, I don't knock them out. They knock me out, and I get to go out into, uh... Slurp Up is scary. But I'm hoping they're sticky with Slurp Up, though they look to be just unburdened. All right, Bolton comes out. They can easily crunch here, which is I, something I'd definitely do if I were them, or Volt Switch as well. I'm going to keep Inteleon alive. Uh, this is definitely a, a, a Dreadnought game. Him only, good for you. Rotom is expendable as hell. Lose to everything. But they have the Thunder Fan, which, means, which is great because I can Volt Switch here. I just think Scarf, though. If it is, it's a problem. Mystical Fire will definitely knock me out. I actually want a rocks, so I don't lose the Slurp. I'm a rock. Actually, if I if I do manage to survive, it's better for me to Draco. Yo, look at my boy Duraludon doing it. That's good, that's good, that's fine. Wait, no, where you going? You weren't done! <laughs> Damn it, Duraludon, you were not done. <laughs> Why? I didn't realize. Uh, that was that was a play on my part. That was a very good play, you know. Tactical pivot. Tactical pivot. We're gonna we're gonna take full advantage. That was all play. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh 
Oh, okay, that's amazing. Because that mom was a threat, so I can will this now. I don't know if they're, if they're combined, though, I probably lost. They're definitely combined, right? Oh, they are hella combined, okay. Dreadnought can set up in their face, though. I'll leave Storm. Damn, so they're... That's very unfortunate. That's actually really unfortunate because this is a mod that I cannot break through very easily. Because they have Unburden. Huh. I think I just lose to Ninetales too. Nah, if I keep Dreadnought alive, I think I won't lose to Ninetales. I have Vika Volt and... Vika Volt and Bolt Switch? God, that does so much damage too. And if I bring out Rotom, at least I can... I'm not even faster than Didi. I can force them to Fire Blast, a Sack Vikavolt. That is not even a guaranteed win at all, like in the slightest. And this is assuming their choice log, by the way. Which they're not. Yeah, good game. I got crushed, man. This damn... Hello? Wait, hold up. His time was now. Hold up, bros. Hold up. I said good game, and then I ended him. <laughs> That's it. There's a little taste of what happens when I get the... <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> I was about to say, that's a little taste of what happens when I get the Infinity Stones, but... <laughs> uh, we both... Hey, I might get my dub here, though. If they come in, I'll forfeit immediately, though, I think. I'm not, I'm not, I don't care as much about, but it's more so me trying out this. Dragon been a little bit lackluster. That Draco first game was great, but like, I mean, the pivoting here, too, it, it reminded me of Goliath's but it wasn't supposed to be Goliath's but It was supposed to get a kill and bring out Inteleon. That way, I had a good matchup versus basically everything besides Bolton, which will allow me to get in Rotom, which could Volt Switch on that safely. But you know what? We go ahead and take those points. Sometimes that's just a little tape. That's it. <laughs> um... Obviously, this team has flaws. Uh, you see, whenever I see a slurp up, I get scared as hell. Uh, this guy is a ninjas, which is really cool. They have no Draco resist, which again, very, very awesome for me. Uh, I love Vika Volt because Volt Switch is incredible versus their team, and Inteleon is going to click Ice Beam, <laughs> and Draco is going to be dropped. So I love early Vika Volt. Um, them going out with Delmize is actually a very good start because this is one of their only mods that could take a Hydro Pump. They have Duraldon, but like it doesn't take it very well. So I'll Volt Switch on this. If they bring out Rapidash, uh, Dreadnought will do what it's been doing this entire game and be sacked. I'm about to make this Dreadnought Quagsire. <laughs> Never mind, I'm good. If I did that though, I wouldn't be losing to what I'm losing to. So yeah, Rapidash takes so much. Calm down. So. Let's look at this real quick. Uh, Vika Bolt's very good. Vika Bolt's just, just naturally good. Because it has natural bulk. It's good. Rotom isn't... It's good versus Cramorant. But like in general, it's not the best. I also have Thunderbolt versus Cramorant. And at least Dreadnought can potentially set up on, on Drapion and Ninjas. So I'd rather go Rotom. Because they might even Wild Charge. And if they Flare Blitz, I get to bring out the GOAT! And just click Dark Pulse. Uh, Dark Pulse doesn't allow Delmize in. It'll kill Rapidash. Uh, it will KO, it will 2 KO Duraludon, it will 2 KO Cramorant, I think, because I'm Specs. I'm just thinking about Duraludon, because Duraludon is going to get killed. Let's see if I 2 KO them. Oh, that's very close. That's fine. Route to Duraludon, I go, as they surf there. Um, unfortunate. But we can thunder, we can at least Thunderbolt. I'll take, a, I'll get bopped a little bit, which is fine. Uh, I get rid of Cramorant, so that's like their other water resist besides that's Luckily, they didn't do enough. And because of the drop, oh, that is so awesome. I get to go Inteleon. That's so awesome because of that drop. So and if they go down mines, I just U-turn on them. I mean, hey, this is a jet pack kind of clean. I'm not getting Draco, but it's king. It's still clean. It's definitely still clean. Dralon can still eat a hit from Ninja, I bet. So I'll go Vika Bolt here. Praying not to die. Dude, you're banded as hell. The hell? Bug Buzz is 39%. Go ahead and click that Bug Buzz right now. They're not banded. They just did a, a million damage. 
Um, if they bring out Rapidash, I think I can... I can... I, I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. You try to sweep me. But you're still slower. Which is very funny. Alright, we're gonna Volt Switch here because the position I want to be in is... Like, I don't want Passimian in. I want Inteleon in always. Because I think Inteleon is, is just the most threatening versus them. So, that sucks. That, that, that had to be like max, literally max HP, max attack. But, we got rid of their two water resist. Or three, well, two of the three water resist. If they're Scarf, I think I set up with this thing and win. But, if I Ice Beam them, I might just knock them out. Nope, never mind. Look, much like every other one we've used this entire time. Um... They've managed to survive, no matter what. I like that 2%. I'll just U-turn here. Yeah, I'll U-turn. I'll bring out Jedna. Forcing them to wild charge. Actually, yeah, I can bring out Vikable, because Vikable doesn't let anything set up. It forces uh, Rapidash. I mean, it can still wild charge, but um, Ninjas comes out. It can't SD in my face, obviously. It just U-turns itself. It's the same as I think. Drapion comes out. I want to say if I close combat here, I can win the game with D Dreadnought immediately. So I'm going to do it. So they knock off my Choice Scarf. Which will make them faster than me. Oh, that's good that they crit me. I think, because don't I just win? Like, isn't it better that they crit me? I'm pretty sure I just win right now. I would love they earthquake me. They do knock me off here, so I'll be able to earthquake them back. Um, I think Ninjas dies. I think Ninjas definitely dies to liquidation, but <laughs> like it's a Ninjas. Obviously, I don't have my life orb anymore though, but I am adamant. <laughs> Why did I do 99.6 outside of rank? Oh no! Are they gonna be able to do something? Are they gonna U-turn out into Pony uh, Rapidash? Pony Rapidash? So they're faster than me now. Pony Dash. But they die here unless they're Focus Dash, which would be very. But actually, wouldn't be. I mean, I think they're heavy duty boots, but it would make sense if they're Focus Dash or no item. But it would make sense because they have both Defog and Rapid Spin, so they have a uh, potential. Chances to be both, I feel. What? What? Oh, oh, okay. So they're just trying to waste rain turns. That way they win. That's crazy. That really sucks. I think I just lost. I just lost because they wasted the rain turns there. So if I killed them or they U-turned out. Wow, that was a good play. Well played, especially after sacking everything. I hope you miss. Miss. Yeah, good game, dude. So, I mean, I deserve that one, but I didn't deserve the one after with the guy that just DM'd me there. I'm sorry, I blocked DM, so. Ah. Uh, I'm for it. <laughs> Bunger. Damn, man. Come on. I haven't gotten a Brox in any of these games, but I fought like Zatus and multiple Defoggers, so I haven't really fought positions. And like the other ones I was fighting, like, for my life against Slurpuff. That's crazy. What is this? He... Poketuber dodgeball games. <laughs> what is he? What is he? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, check Twitter. Check what A-Drive uh, posted. But, yeah. Okay, I mean, that really does suck. Uh, that was their best play, though. So I can't be mad at all. Um, and if they didn't get it, I liquidated them. And then I liquidated their rapid ash. Throw down, bro. You gotta start. You gotta start doing things for me. I definitely want to get some rocks up. I think they were banded rapid ash as well. Uh, I guess also maybe what I could have done is oh okay. I was just, I'm just trying to think about multiple things I could have done. This is gonna be, this is a fantastic game for Draco because I, I literally Draco and I get the hell out of there. But well, actually here I don't even have the Draco. I just flash cannon. <laughs> That was a crit? Are they max for death? It was worth me getting up the rocks for sure. 
Because I'll be able to chip away. If they set up, I just Draco and everything. Oh, I'm at 6.4. Never mind. I just die. Uh, so, oh, no, I don't. Nice. Okay, I thought it rounded uh, down on this, but I guess it kept up. This is cool because if they set up with Drapion, I get to Draco and get the hell out of there. But, I mean, I, they die anyway, so it doesn't really matter either way, uh, I suppose. Um, Rotom can burn Decidueye, so I want to keep that alive. Close Combatter. Uh, Toxic Oak is a, is, a, is a problem for sure. Once it sets up on me. But a Rotom could also burn that. Maybe that's actually better to burn that. That way I can go Dreadnought and mess him up. I'll just pump here. Get as much off as possible. <laughs> so they get a sniper crit on me, which is very unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate right there. I don't think U turn knocks them out through uh, through that. Maybe it does. Like, through Reflect, maybe it does. Because if it does, I'd rather go for U-Turn here, because I don't want to be in with this mod. I want to get in with Rotom. U-Turn, outside of Reflect. What the hell is this Drapion? Ain't nobody talking about this Drapion. It's no HP. Okay, 23. Let me put her, that there. I don't do enough. If I get the roll, maybe. I'm just trying not to lose the Toxic Oak immediately. Alright, whatever. If they go Toxic Oak, I go Rotom and I burn. If Zata comes out, it gives me Vika Volt. Yo, is their entire team choiced? Is that what's happening right now? Am I getting bought by choice Pokemon? Uh... That's not even choice, it's just max special attack citrus. I'm definitely about to lose Toxico, but I might be able to win the game. I might be able to salvage it with Dreadnought. If they don't gunk shot away. Brick break. Come on. There we go. I want them to knock me out, but I don't want them to die. Perfect. I'll get up the rain and then if I get up the rain and they go to Sidueye, I go out into Passimian to then win the game with uh with uh liquidation into liquidation, I think. I think that's how I win. I believe that's how I win. So yeah, we go Passimian. Your life orb. I don't think I'll knock them out. They went to Chino, which is definitely not the play because it'll be two AKO'd. So I don't know why they went to Chino. Does the situation just die? Does this do sixty-six percent? I'm pretty sure it does. I feel like it does. This is way too strong. Yeah, 70, 70 min. Hey, okay, they had Shadow Sneak too. That was something I was worried about. Like, I was worried about switching to Dreadnought and they SD and had Shadow Sneak. A good game. All right, well, I mean, that was a fun one. Uh, Duraludon, pretty sad that it didn't knock out Vanillix, but I'm pretty sure they were like max HP or something. And the last one, you know, sucked what ended up happening there uh, because we had it with Dreadnought. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Inteleon, definitely nasty in this tier. Uh, Duraludon, you know, maybe, maybe hidden threat. Uh, I think I was just using it wrong. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like. Check out PokeMD.com. The channel link is down below. Uh, the, the website link is down below. Follow me on Twitch, like I said. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.